Hello, I'm Allison Lotz, and welcome to TMN Television on Thursday, November 1st. Tonight, we look at the recent trends with new voter registration. We also see an upcoming program from the Career Center to help with career readiness. And later, we have the Truman Sports Update. These stories and more tonight on TMN Television. You don't want to miss this. The average age of voters in Adair County is slowly decreasing as younger citizens are registering to vote. The average voting age was 50 years old. Though younger voters are present, there are not enough to disrupt current voting trends. In past elections, Adair County has typically voted Republican, though a few Democratic candidates have secured positions. Overall, voter turnout depends on what type of election is happening and how significant the issues and candidates on the ballot are to residents. Some of the issues appearing on this year's midterm election ballot are medical marijuana, gas taxes, and bingo. Compared to other counties, Adair County has moderate voter participation among residents. Truman Media Network's KCRM and The Index will be covering the election live live on November 6th, and the most recent index issue includes a voter's guide to candidates and issues. Truman's Homecoming Committee has raised $10,000 for a local tutoring service. The program is called the Oasis Intergenerational Tutoring Program and is ran through the United Way of Northeast Missouri. The program pairs young students with adults from the community who act as reading and comprehension tutors. Oasis is a nonprofit based in St. Louis but operates in other cities. The money raised by the Homecoming Committee will allow them to continue to expand. The Career Center is developing a new program online called the True Star to better help students with career readiness. Associate Vice President for Career Development David Lusk says the program targets skills that are valued by employers, such as teamwork, communication, and problem solving. He says when students complete tasks within the program, they earn points which help students earn certifications for the different parts of the programs. Career Ready Coach Jenny Noon says that different part levels of the program exist, level one being an introduction level and level four being a mastery. Noon says one of the goals of the program is to help students realize the transferable skills they are using on campus. The Career Center hopes to have the first phase roll out on January 1st. Truman's Call Center is hosting its first ever Celebrity Night November 5th. Students President Sue Thomas and several academic department heads will reach out to alumni, families, and friends to raise funds for the university. The Call Center operates year-round and hosts phonathons like the Celebrity Night. Engagement Director Stacy Tucker Potter says the Call Center raises money for over 700 foundation funds, as well as seven crowdsourced funding projects such as creating an annual Truman State Film Festival. Call Center Student Coordinator Junior Ashley Meredith says with all the budget cuts that have happened in the last few years, Years, it is important to help raise this money so students can afford to come to Truman. After the break, stay tuned for the Truman Sports Update, but before all that, let's look at this week's forecast. It's fine that other people like you. It's more important that you like yourself. And I'm comfortable with every part of me. Meals on wheel, coming to my door as someone who's housebound, assures me that I'm not forgotten. They care that I'm okay. My name is Asha Ida Bell, America. Let's do lunch. Drop off a hot meal and say hello. Volunteer by donating your lunch break at americaletsdolunch.org eyes on the number one spot in the GLVC, the Truman State University Bulldogs bulldozed the Quincy University Hawks 41-7 last Saturday. Truman is set to face off this Saturday against the University of Indianapolis, the only other undefeated team in the Great Lakes Valley Conference, with the top spot in the conference hanging in the balance. The two teams have split their last two contests with each other 1-1, one one, so Saturday's game will be just as much a grudge match as it will be a pseudo-championship game. Truman State University's women's soccer team won a share of the GLVC regular season championship last Wednesday thanks to a 3-2 win over William Jewell College. Tiebreakers determined Truman will have the number one seed in the GLVC tournament, earning them a home quarterfinals matchup with Lewis University last Sunday. Truman has struggled against the Flyers historically. Lewis beat Truman to open conference play in September, but this time around the Bulldogs took the win 3-1. The Bulldogs are set to play against Bellarmine University in the tournament's semifinal round on Friday. 
After resolving the budget crisis facing the team since May, the wrestling team has been cleared by the Truman State University Athletics Department to compete for the 2018-19 season. With the recent release of their official schedule, the Bulldogs have spent the last two weeks training for their first meet tonight at Upper Iowa University. Shortly after the team reached the required funding goal of $75,000 in early October, head coach David Shooter expressed concern over whether the team would receive its season schedule in time to actually participate in the season. However, following the official release of the 2018-19 season schedule, Shooter said he is glad to know the team is guaranteed to compete for at least one more season. This has been your Truman Sports Update, and be sure to stay tuned after the break. Patriotism. It inspires passionate debate, and it's worn like a badge of honor with good reason. Because it means love and devotion for one's country. But what really makes up this country of ours? It's the people. To love America is to love all Americans. This year, patriotism shouldn't just be about pride of country. It should be about love, love beyond age, sexuality, disability, race, religion, and other labels. Because love has no labels. Thank you for tuning in with us tonight. For complete news coverage, be sure to stay tuned to KTRM, pick up a copy of The Index, and look at Detours Magazine's latest adventure online. Don't forget to also check out our news content on tmn.truman.edu. You can also follow TMN on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram for breaking news updates. If you missed part of our broadcast tonight, check out TMN TV on YouTube. And if you've ever thought about being on TV, be sure to head on over to tmn.truman.edu slash apply to fill out an application today. From all of us here at TMN, thank you for tuning in and have a great rest of the week.